Greetings. Thanks for tuning in to Diva Speaks. I hope everybody is all right. Everybody's not, though. But those who are able to tune in, they have the luxury and the peace of mind to even want to even look at a video because there's so many of us are just in total despair. I still think about Regina King, whose son, you know, self-concluded. I know she's not coming back. So many people are hurting, brokenhearted. So many children right now are being misused and abused, raped, sodomized. Everybody is not happy today. Prisoners who are there for no fault of their own, serving 10, 20 years. I can't imagine how they're living. I guess I'm a coward. I would have found a way out. Self-concluded. I don't know how they hang on, but many didn't. Many took their children out. Many took themselves out. Just It's just too much grief. And for this system to consistently put it on you on purpose, shooting down our young men just for anything. Our women too. Dear sweet Sandra Bland. But um, I want to know seriously again, who are my conscious brothers and sisters are talking to when they said the good Lord and the, the most high and who are they talking to after they give a long teaching on the atrocities and the horrors that we have endured in this country alone, not going globally. I want to know, who are you talking about? Because when I left religion, I had to leave all that alone. But I know if you will lose people if you come off like I do. Because I believe for 38 years. Before that, I was just scared of religion and God. But then I became saved. And for 38 years, I believed until I woke up, until I stepped out of the illusion. And that's only when I began to learn there's never been a God for us. Nowhere. Ever. Ever. That's the way I feel the more I learn. And I can't shuck and jive and lie anymore. Because I was I I lived that life for 38 years. It did so much damage. If I had known the truth, I would have never got into religion. The truth would have took me forward to a whole new way. Better. Living a life for 38 years. Still was mean, evil, doing everything under the sun. And going to church, dressing up on the outside, but all fucked up on the inside. It did nothing. So when I found out that it was right, he wasn't there then for me those 38 years because why would you go out to church and then go right into the liquor store so that same feeling that I'm like well that's the same God that I didn't have that they didn't have so where is he so good the most had the THM they, they, they only say the most had them or they got a the, 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 the TMH and I just don't get it and I want to know Am I missing out on something? So are they saying that this is he's gonna they're gonna say he's the universe? But remember, those who have come out of Christianity, that imprisonment, those are key words. When you say key words, my mind go bing, who are you talking about? The good Lord. I can only think of the one that never was there for me. And so now you're giving him praise after you just talked about how the atrocities that we went through. Our grandparents, our 256 great, 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 great grandparents. But I don't know if we should go back that far. Cause after that, 
some of our great great grandparents are Caucasians because we know they raped us. But those who endured all of that. So, peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. I don't even know what I was getting ready to talk about. Yeah, but uh, that. I want to know who you're talking about. And that we believe that he's counting up those who've been bad and those have been good. And those have been bad, he's going to get you at the end. He got all that power, but he can't do nothing to stop our black men who were castrated and sodomized in front of their children and their wives. No power then. But we believe, because nobody knows that he's going to punish somebody or if there is somebody to punish somebody. I had something that written up on my backboard on the a media that I shut down because I have narrowed it into one. And it's, if there is a God, he will beg my forgiveness, but he won't get it, though. And if there is a God, he will understand what I'm talking about. If he's powerful and all-knowing, he will understand why I feel exactly the way I feel. And wouldn't it be something if this God said, that's who I want in my army. Someone that can think it through. And not just believe what the next person told them. Because what I'm saying to me makes sense. It really do. You get all this power and they'll say something after coming out of, okay, suppose your house caught on fire and just burned down to the ground and one piece of jewelry was saved and you'll say God is good because he saved that one ring oh thank you Jesus but he let the house burn down and then they'll say well because it was because for your good because he got something else just keep going just keep the snowball rolling you know lie after lie after lie a lie after lie after lie because it got something better for you. They just exaggerate it on and on and on and on. Just to give this invisible God who never shows up ever glory and praise. He wasn't there for me. I went along with it. But after reality came at me full blast, there was no, all lies had to go. Because I woke up to some truth, to some devastating lies that I had lived. And that was one of them. And then I lived the other one for 64 years. And then the school that I lived at for 12 years didn't learn nothing. So I am learning everything now. Truth. And I really want to know who is this most wonderful Savior, the good Lord, that conscious people are talking about. I'm not talking about the Christians. I'm talking about my sisters and brothers. The good Lord. I threw all my gospel music out because I could not entertain it. But I understand that if you, I, that's why my channel probably won't grow. Because of the way I talk. And 80% of us, as they say, it's probably going down to 65 now. Believe in something that never has showed up. They know it. But they just, it just, they can't stop it because the mind, because I know what it is because I was there. I didn't jump off into uh, social media this way. I was a stiff, starch, stone Jesus only. All my FB friends, everything, it was about religion, it was about Christianity, everything. I wasn't always this way. I was a bona fide Christian, Jesus only, apostolic Pentecostal, all the way in there, but still miserable, still lost, still didn't know what I was doing. The man, I had been in it so long, I was so programmed, so brainwashed into it, deep, embedded. 
my whole life, all my friends, associates, all my reading material, all my music, everything was religious, Christianity. I was embedded it into me daily, feeding it into me constantly, not letting anything else in. Because there is a scripture that read that. Avoid them who are learned. You know, stay away from the media and all of that. Don't even talk to them. I know people who won't even, you can't even send them a picture. They won't open it. They so program into their religion and their cult. You can't even send them a picture. They won't open it. They wanna, don't want to see no truth. Don't talk it to me. Don't, I don't want to hear it. I was that way. So I understand. I do. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Not many believe or know what or can say what I say. They just won't. They don't want to be alone. And it is a lonely walk. It is a lonely walk. It's a lonely walk. When you talk like me. Someone asked me, well, what religion are you in? <laughs> Shit. Because you got to be in some type of religion. It's impossible. She, she couldn't phantom in her head how I could be out here lost and not have a religion. It's impossible. You got to have an anchor on your brain. You can't just be a free thinker out here. That's impossible. You got to be hog tied and pulled in. You got to belong to something, some type of click, clan, club, organization cult you got to belong you can't be out here by yourself that's the way they think you got to be with the majority the status quo the in crowd you can't be alone you know and then those who are not into religion but they're not conscious they don't think on a higher level about the world that we're living in. They don't want to think that way. So then there you go. You ostracize again. Because even though there are some out there who are who don't believe in religion like you, but then but they're not conscious. So then you gotta narrow down again. We still sisters and brothers, but how, how can you walk together unless you agree? I don't know. It is it's it's something. It really is out here. It really is. It's deep out here. But peace if you, if you can find it. <laughs> That's why I said if you can find it. And to those who are still suffering, the same ones that was suffering at the beginning of this speaking, still suffering. Nobody cares. Nobody is doing anything. They're just talking about it, writing books, getting paid, everything. Like me. I wish something could happen. I wish I didn't know all of this. Ignorance, is it bliss? Is it bliss? It ain't bliss. You know? But peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe.